In this video, we're gonna show you how to take an old thrift store book and turn it into an enchanted grimoire using really simple techniques. But first, we're off to Goodwill to find the perfect book. Y'all, it is pouring rain outside. People always ask us, how do our props hold up in the rain? Well, this is what we deal with, like almost 30 days straight in October. And you know what? Our props fare just fine. <laughs> you ready to go inside? Yes, Kay. let's do this. do this. I think the books are in the back. Oh, look! That, you could do a drinking skeleton in that. A tiny one. A tiny one, a, <laughs> tiny. A, baby, a baby drinking skeleton. We do not condone baby skeletons drinking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we, we need one that's like not too big, not too small, like the type of book that a witch would fit in her satchel while a she's sat flying on a broomstick. Hardcover, right? Yes, hardcover. Okay. There's the thesaurus. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's got weird things on it. How much are these books? Like a few bucks? They look like they're like four bucks each. Okay. Peter and the Shadow Thieves. That looks, that's probably too thick, huh? You mm. could make like a smaller one though, you know, like what if you were a small witch? Like a little, a witch in training? Yeah. The Ascent, the Ascent of Man. <laughs> the Ascent of Man. <laughs> yes. All right, let's I put that one aside. Yeah, that's a good, definitely get that one. All right. Random stuff. What'd you find there? This is a, a leaf blower and oh. I want it because I have a project idea. For a leaf blower? So we've been thinking about making a pet cemetery. What about this little horse? I mean, it's a Maybe. really tiny horse, but- Is it too small? It might too be too small. small okay. but is that a wolf? That is a, an angry wolf. <laughs> what about a giraffe? Do people keep giraffes as pets? This could go on top of a headstone, right? Yes. Old picture frames, perfect for doing like creepy pictures or when we did like our ghost mirror, we use an old frame like this. You never really know what you're gonna find. You don't always find what you're looking for, but you can usually find something cool. These old TVs, these are great for doing like digital displays. You're not gonna wanna put like a really nice new TV outside, especially if it rains like it does here. It's literally a chainsaw. This could be a, a costume. Just don't plug it in. Ooh. Could put a light in there. A sparkly pumpkin. Yeah. This would be perfect for the floating oh. wine bottle. Look at that. Like that's exactly what you need. We this is what we needed for here. our wine glass. <laughs> that's perfect. Good to go. You ready to make a spell book? Yes. yes. Let's do it. So the basic design for the book is we're gonna have an eyeball right here. It's gonna have some like creepy tentacles coming off of it. Down here, we're gonna have the words wicked spells. And then we're gonna put some accoutrements on, some little corner guards, things like that. To do the eyeball effect, we're going to use this, which is called a cabochon. I hope that's how you pronounce it. This is a solid piece of glass and it's really cool because what it does is it magnifies whatever you put behind it. So we are going to use an eyeball animation and then it goes over like that. It magnifies it and makes it look like it's like inside of it instead of just, you know, a picture behind it. So we basically need to cut through this cardboard cover, which I'm pretty sure we could just use a knife. All right, let's see if this worked. Hey. Woo. Now let's see if this thing fits. That's super cool. <laughs> How do we cut paper? With the same knife? A knife. <laughs> Is this one tool project so one far? One tool project. So I drew some guides so that when we're positioning the phone, we can make sure that the screen is inside the eyeball. Okay, that worked really well. I'm gonna do a bunch of light passes until we get our target depth, which is the exact thickness of my phone. And that's gonna be a little different for you, but you wanna try to get the top of the phone to be exactly at the top of the page. Look at this! <laughs> that's so cool! It's a real eyeball in there. That is so cool. <laughs> this has been very fast, literally just using a knife so far and a cell phone, so super cool. What's next? Well. We want to sculpt an eyelid around that, but first we are going to put on our words. We are going to use these little wood letters. They're really cool. We found them on Amazon. I think you can also get them at the craft store. This is a really cool place where you can customize your book. Maybe it's a D&D themed thing. Maybe it has your name on it. This is your chance to make it your own. Don't miss. Mm, what if I make the eye crooked? There's a lot of pressure. <laughs> I guess we could always like rip them off. Because the whole cover is going to be covered up anyway, so it wouldn't be a big deal. No! <sighs> that doesn't mean immediately mess up. I didn't! I dropped it glue side up. Okay. And what do you think? That looks great. Definitely has like a Harry Potter kind of vibe. That's what I was going for. Very cool. So our eyeball is gonna have all these like creepy tentacles coming off of it. You can see we kind of roughed in some there. We're gonna make those with the hot glue gun. But before we do that, our eyeball needs an eyelid. And I think the easiest way we're gonna be able to do that is with air dry clay. Eyeball-ish. 
She's making this look real easy, but five minutes ago, neither of us had any idea how to sculpt an eyelid. <laughs> we just rolled out some clay and put it on the thing. And we've got a phone that has a picture of an eye as reference. And if it were just me, I would be too intimidated, I think, to try this on my own. But that's kind of how art is. You've just got to take the risk and go for it. <laughs> I think it looks amazing. I'm happy, I'm happy with it. You should be very proud of it. Okay. Come on. <laughs> how long does this take to dry? It's air dry, right? Careful, careful. <laughs> yes. <laughs> don't wag it, don't. Okay, okay. Flinging it around. How long does this take to dry? Well, a certain amount of time. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah. It's two days later and it's dry. It is. Also, we glued it on. We just used some super glue on the back. Now we need to make some creepy eye stock tentacle things. <laughs> so you're just basically drawing them with hot glue, right? Uh huh. And it'll look really cool when the tissue's over it. <laughs> look at this. It's like, I don't know, just using like such a simple thing, like just the hot glue. And if you don't have letters, you can draw your letters with glue. You can draw like some binding with glue. Yeah. You could draw rivets, like anything that you want to look like that's embossed under the leather. You just draw it with the glue. Okay, this is tissue paper. They probably have this at the craft store. Where do you do get to? Do you not wrap presents? Not in tissue paper. I wrap it in wrapping paper. You put the tissue paper inside the present. Nobody does that. Nobody does that. <laughs> have you been to a kid's birthday party? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so go to a kid's birthday party steal their presents, and that's where you can get tissue paper. Okay, but the first thing you gotta do with it is crumple it up, like really good, like really crumple it up. And then once it's open again, it looks like really crinkly old leather. And when you glue it on, it makes all these extra wrinkles, and it's just, it's just magic how it works. The magic of tissue paper. <laughs> So the brush is applying the glue, but it's also sort of smushing the tissue paper into all the little cracks and crevices, right? Yes. I think we might want to cut this so we can like wrap it under. It looks like a leathery skin kind of texture, which is, I think, exactly what we want. Ah, that looks so cool. With the letters finally coming out. Mm-hmm. We may end up having to tear a little bit of the paper inside there just to make sure it gets okay. down into the cracks. So you know how some books have like the different color spine? So we're gonna add another layer right there so it looks like it has this like cool edge protection. We took some of this fabric and we cut little strips and now these are gonna go and kind of wrap around the outside. Okay, ready for painting. This is looking so cool. We uh, got these things on and then this is a little strap. We actually made it from, you remember these? These are from, if you remember the treasure chest that we made, we made a bunch of leather straps that we were gonna use. Didn't use them, but now we sort of use them. If you don't have foam, you can also use a little piece of leather or vinyl or cloth. How are we painting? Just acrylics. It's gonna acrylics. be green. Holiday green. That seems- Generic too, holiday green. That's very bright. This is it a Christmas spell book? Well, there's, there's black. Bright yellow. Mm -hmm. It's just gonna be rainbows. <laughs> black, green, and yellow. <laughs> You're doing wet blending of the paints. Yeah. So instead of mixing them ahead of time, you just dab them on at the same time all together and kind of blend them. And it's kind of random. You're just going for it. Yep. The really bright green goes from kind of weird to like super cool looking immediately. It's very dark. It I mean, dark. it's awesome looking, but it's very dark. We got to dry brush it now. Mm -hmm. Put some highlights back in. Yeah, I think I want to light up the green with some yellow. Just to bring out like all the little tentacles and the eyelids and stuff. Although I still want the eyeball to pop more, so we're going to go with an even yellow or green for that one.
Huge thanks to Goodwill for sponsoring this video again. We love working with them because we go there all the time. I mean, we got this book, we got stuff for the drinking skeleton, we got the witch makeover dress, we got the gown for the empty soul girl swint. Like, we get stuff there all the time, legitimately, and the place is awesome. And even if we don't have a project in mind, we love going there and just being inspired and seeing what cool things we can find because we know there's like a project just waiting for this item. That leaf blower will become something. <laughs> and at the same time, you're upcycling old stuff, you're keeping things out of the landfill, and you're just bringing new life to like an old thing, while also creating something completely unique. Now, every Goodwill out there is gonna have different stuff, and you're all gonna have a different experience, and that's part of the charm of it. So if you're building your own DIY props, make sure that Goodwill is on your list of places to go for supplies. If you do decide to make your own spellbook, we've got a bunch of versions of this eyeball video available on our Patreon that we made, so you can go get those and make your own. Hope you guys like this one. Until next time. Stay wicked.